Hello everyone. This is the lecture number 34 of the lecture series of Neural Architecture made for MEO examination. In this lecture, we will continue with the longitudinal stability of the ship. Specifically, I am going to cover a topic, effect of shifting a cargo which is already on board. So before starting the numerical, let me give one animation. Through the animation, you will come to know that exactly what I am trying to explain in upcoming class. Now there is a one cargo already on board. Now I have taken here as a box shaped vessel. So the center of flotation is at the intersection of the water line and the midship. And initially I am considering that the cargo is kept on the center of flotation. It is not necessary that a cargo should be initially at the center of flotation. But for the simplicity, I am considering that the cargo is already on board, which is on the center of flotation. So center of flotation is here. So this is the intersection point of the midship and the water line where you have a center of flotation. And when you are shifting the cargo, whether it is a forward side or whether it is a aft side, how the trim of the ship is going to change and what is the effect of this shifting the weight on the draft of the ship at the forward and at the aft that you can analyze with the small animation. Then we will go for the numerical. Now you can see here. There are two water lines. The first water line you can see in the purple color that is a WL that is the old water line before shifting the cargo and W1L1 is the new water line as the water surface is always horizontal ship is going to incline in a forward direction. If you see here there will be an increment in the drop at the forward side let's call it as a Y and there will be a decrement in the draft at the up side let's call it as a X. Then if I ask what is the new draft at the forward and what is the new draft at the aft. So for the calculation of the new draft after the shifting the cargo in the forward side in this case always you have to create the table like this hold the draft then change of the draft due to trim alone. Then finally you have a new draft. A stands for aft, F stands for forward. Initially I am considering that a ship is at even keel. So draft at the forward and the draft at the aft is the same. Now when you are shifting the cargo at the forward side, we found that there will be an increment in the draft at the forward. Let's call that is a Y. Now it is incremented, that's the reason I am calling with a plus y and at the half there will be a decrement in the drop that is x, let's call this is a minus. So when you are going to calculate the new drop, you have to keep in your mind about these sign conventions. So that I have taken here, at the half the, there will be a decrement, that's the reason I have written here minus of x. And at the forward, it will be an increment in the draft. I have written as a plus y. What is the new draft here? At the up, to find the new draft, old draft minus the change of the draft due to trim, that is d minus x. And at the forward, the old draft plus there will be an increment in the draft at the forward. So we can write a d plus y. Like this calculation, we have to do. Let's do one numerical to understand the concept which we have discussed just now. The effect of a shifting the weights already on board. A ship 126 meter long is floating at the draft of 5.5 meter forward and 6.5 meter aft. The center of flotation is a 3 meter aft of the midship. MCT 1 centimeter is equal to 240 tons meter. Displacement of the ship is 6000 tons. Find the new draft if the weight of 120 tons already on board is shifted forward 
a distance of 45 meter so before starting the numerical always i will suggest please draw the profile view of the ship and show everything whatever the things are given in the numerical so i have drawn here a profile view of the ship the length of the ship i am denoting with a capital l that is 126 meter is floating at the draft 5.5 meter aft so i have taken da is a 6.5 meter and the df is a 5.5 meter the center of flotation is a 3 meter aft of the midship center of flotation i am denoting with a capital f so this is the midship midship means the half of the total length the total length is 126 so midship will be at a 63 meter this is the symbol generally we are using for the midship so the midship location will be at a 63 meter aft as well as a 63 meter from the forward then they have given mct 1 centimeter generally we will call it mctc what is the meaning of this movement to change the trim for the 1 centimeter it means again i am going to discuss the same thing to get 1 centimeter trim in the ship how much movement is required for this ship that is a 240 tons meter so for this particular ship at this particular draft we need 240 tons meter movement to get a 1 centimeter trim then displacement of the ship is given that is 6000 tons find the new drop if the weight of 120 tons is already on board is shifted forward a distance of 45 meter now here the most important thing that the weight which they are shifting in the forward direction the initial position of the weight is not mentioned in the question you can take anywhere on the deck but the appropriate location i am considering that uh, the weight is kept just above the center of flotation let's call the position one so from here the weight is shifted 45 meter forward of the ship so distance traveled by this weight from the position one to two is a 45 meter let's call small d now we need to calculate the trimming movement which is generating because of a shifting this weight in the forward direction above the center of flotation so that trimming moment i am writing w into d w is the weight which is shifted into how much distance it is shifted 45 meter if you do the calculation this you will get the trimming moment 5400 tons meter now you are shifting the cargo in the forward direction the movement which is generating in this case about the center of flotation the direction is towards the forward side or it will be in a clockwise direction what will happen because of this the forward part of the ship will go down and half part of the ship will come up so there will be an increment in the draft at the forward side and there will be a decrement of the draft at the aft side this thing you have to keep in your mind so whenever you are writing the movement please mention this thing by head or by forward like this now we come to know that there will be a movement generating and because of that there will be a trim is coming in the ship now we need to calculate that trim to calculate the trim we have to use the formula like this change of the trim that is denoting with a t is equal to trimming movement divided by mctc so what is the trimming movement just now we have calculated 5400 divided by mctc which is given to us 240 tons meter now from where i am writing this formula how this formula is coming if you remember that the definition of the mctc what i told mctc means how much movement is required to get the one centimeter trim the movement is given to us that is for example 240 tons meter movement is required to get one centimeter trim 
then for this trimming moment which we have calculated 5400 5400 meter, how much is the trim will come I am repeating once again 240 meter movement I am getting 1 cm trim for this particular ship then if I generate 5400 meter movement on the same ship how much trim will come so we are considering this cross multiplication which we have done in the school days trim is equal to the trimming movement divided by MCTC this formula is coming here then you can substitute everything here you will get the change of the trim which is coming 22.5 centimeter please keep in your mind whenever you are going to use this formula whatever the result will come that will be always in a centimeter don't try to add this value directly in the original draft if you are adding the value directly in the original draft as the original graph which is given that is in the meter if you are adding these values directly over there what will happen the ship will sink by your numbers because this is if you are considering 22.5 meter and if you are adding these values in the present draft or the older draft the new draft which is coming that will be 29 meter so that is a wrong concept so try to understand that whatever the results you will get from this formula that will be always in a centimeter convert in the meter now we got the value of a trim but still we have not get what is the increment and the decrement in the value at the aft and the forward so as we have derived the formula in the earlier class though we have used the, there will be a change of the draft at the aft we are calling with the x and there will be change of the draft at the forward we are calling with the y so by using these two we have derived two equations for the two unknown the first equation is x plus y is equal to t and the another equation is x by l a is equal to t by capital L now what are the things are there in this equation x and y is the increment and the decrement in the draft at the aft and the forward respectively t is a trim l a is the distance of center of flotation from the aft all of you please keep in your mind l a is distance of center of flotation from the aft capital l is the length of the ship now you substitute these values which we have calculated in this equation you will get this two equation here now in this case what is l a the from the aft to the midship the distance is 63 meter but the center of flotation is behind the midship 3 meter so this distance l a is a 60 meter that you have to substitute here capital l is the length of the ship which is given to us that is 126 meter substitute here you will get the value of x and y now we have to calculate the new draft i will always suggest please create the table like this initially you have to write the old draft the second point change of the draft due to trim alone this is the a means aft and the forward everything is in a meter after draft is given to us 6.5 meter forward draft is given to us 5.5 meter the change of the draft due to trim at the aft we are calling with the x that we have to take here 0.107 and at the forward it is a y that is 0.118 now the question is how to decide the mm, the signs here we have seen that uh, here there is a movement generating that will be in a clockwise direction and because of that movement forward part of the ship is going down and half part is coming up it means that the forward draft is increasing so let's call y is a plus and after draft is reduced so we will call the x as a minus so we will write here along the signs here then you can do the algebraic summation of the after draft algebraic summation of the forward draft you will get the new draft at the aft is 6.393 meter and the forward 
5.618 meter. So like this we have to do the numerical for calculation of the new draft when the cargo is already on board and you are shifting in a forward direction or in a aft direction. In this numerical the cargo is shifted forward 45 meters. I hope all of you understood this question. We will do some of the numericals on the basis of the same thing in the next class. Thank you very much.